Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today we're going to do the logo design practice technique random letter and I've done this one other time before and people seem to like it so I'm just going to do it again. I didn't really know what I was going to record today so this seemed like a good idea. All right, so you don't have to really follow along. You can if you want. I mean, it's always a good idea to try and improve your skills, especially on the spot. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to work in Adobe Illustrator and so yeah, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, here I am at randomlettergenerator.com, and I'm going to click this. It's going to come up with a random letter, and then I'll speak the first noun that comes to my mind that begins with that letter. All right, so let's go ahead and click this. H, hair. <laughs> All right, so I've got to come up with hair somehow within an H. And I already know I want to use the lowercase h, simply because it usually has this nice curve right here. All right, so... But I will still put a capital H and then space it with a lowercase h right here. And, you know, just quickly go over these fonts uh, just to see if I have any ideas that are sparked by doing this. I think I already have an idea. Um, all right, so... I guess what I want to do is I'm going to get out the grid. I'm going to not I'm not going to use a font. I'm just going to view show grid here. I'm going to do my own. And I will view in snap to grid as well. And I want to focus on the right portion. I'm trying to visualize how I want this to be. All right, so I'm going to take the uh, pen tool and it's going to come up around here. Uh, how about right around? No, 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 come on, get this right. I'm just going to leave it at that just for now, just so I can get somewhat of an idea here. And I probably will adjust these. All right, I... Uh, You know what I might do? I'm going to back up. Oops. Damn it. Not that much. One second. And I'm going to get rid of the fill. Give it a stroke. And click on this. Get our stroke width up here quite a bit. And use that. It's kind of like a better option there. I want to work with this. This looks all not correct here. Uh, so you can always just play with your anchor points here. Move things around. And see if there's something that we want to use. We want to experiment with the stroke again. And I really want to get this right. That's a little bit better of a change. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to create some portions that go outside of it. Yeah, we'll see if I can do this. I.
I'm going to start right here. Maybe right around there. Change this again, the stroke. Oops. All right, and then change that as well. Actually, can I do this? Yeah, change that. All right, and then I would it look right just with a straight up and down sort of thing. I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. No, not at all. All right, so let me uh, think here. No. no, I don't want to do that. One second. All right. All right, I just want to experiment a little bit more with these hair stroke things. That's irritating, you know. If you I color eye drop it, it should also take the stroke style with it, but it doesn't. Oh. First word problems, I guess you could say. Yeah, that's a little bit too thick. I mean. Yeah, I think these over here maybe just might be a little bit too thick for my liking, so I'm going to bring those down as well. And maybe move them in slightly. And this one. Maybe come down here and then do another one. And I'll adjust this real quick. All right, and see if there's anything else I want to change. I want to um, experiment with not having that one. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get rid of this one. And. Add one right over here. All right, and maybe put one right here and then there. All right. Actually, at this point, I'm going to turn off the grid view. View and hide grid. Get this thing out of there.
Hmm, you know, maybe instead of inside or outside, I'll have this thing inside over here. Because everything was outside, it was kind of creating, making it look empty. All right, so I could take this, duplicate that real quick, see what it looks like without this portion. I kind of like it just with this. All right, and then to further like solidify the idea. I uh, take this, I'm going to group it and then hide it. We could first let me go to object path and outline stroke. And then take this, group it, and give it a linear gradient. Oh, not on a stroke though. All right, G. And we'll try to get an interesting color here. A blonde, maybe, color. Eh, no, you know what? Like a, a brunette. And inside. All right, and then finally, uh, I'm going to make this one darker. Yeah, I want to change this maybe to radial. All right. Need something like that, and... Yeah, there we go. I think that's what I'm going to consider complete. And bring up the other one here. And let's see something. You can always create some more interesting effects by before you convert the paths or the strokes to outline, you can scale it because the stroke width stay the same. They don't scale down proportionally and this makes it look even fuller at this size so if I want an object path um, outline stroke and then scale back up I think I even like that better this looks a little bit too thin so what I could do is just take that duplicate it Get that color. Something like that. Eh, anyhow, that is it. I think it's pretty decent. It conveys the idea of hair, I guess, and an H. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that is it for today's video. Check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet. Chances are, if you're watching this a month after this has been posted, the uh, premium subscription service has been released where I do one-on-one -on -one training as well as access to all the video courses. All right, so uh, yeah, subscribe here on YouTube as well if you haven't. All right, I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.